Hi, this is Joseph Anthony, the Wonder Child Blog. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to tap on something that is um, very near and dear and pressing to to many people, and that is finding one's soulmate. And in this EFT tapping video, I'm going to suggest to you the key, the secret, if you will, to doing just that, to finding your soulmate. So, if you choose to tap along with me, you are accepting full responsibility for doing so. Let's get started. Even though I have spent many years searching for my soulmate and haven't found them, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I've been searching for many years trying to find my soulmate and I haven't yet, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I've been through many relationships in search of my soulmate to no avail, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I've gotten to the point where I'm not sure my soulmate exists, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though my search for a soulmate has perhaps caused me to feel insecure or doubt myself, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I feel lonely, my heart longs and pines for my soulmate. I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. All this loneliness, all this longing, all this searching and wondering, all this longing, all this wondering who my soulmate is, all this searching from relationship to relationship. All this insecurity that comes from feeling like I'll never find my soulmate. All this loneliness. All this anticipation. Perhaps I'm excited in search of my soulmate and it's an adventure. Still, I haven't found them. And I search for the key to unlock the treasure of who my soulmate is. Today I choose to follow a new path. Today I choose to unlock that treasure and that secret to finding my soulmate. Today I choose to love the one person most important to finding my soulmate. And that person is the key. That person is the one I see in the mirror. Today I choose to make that person to make myself, me, my first and foremost soulmate. For I am the one that I will go with and travel with beyond the beyond. It's with me, myself. So today I choose to extend to myself all the love and honor that I would another being. I choose to love, honor, and cherish myself. To claim myself as my soulmate, first and foremost. Once I do that, and can practice accepting myself and claiming myself as my true soulmate, then, 
then will another being doing the same for themselves come my way. We will be drawn towards one another. So today I accept the key and I use the key to unlock the treasure and mystery of finding my soulmate. the key of self-love, the key of self-acceptance, the key of treasuring who I am as a child of the divine. For my soul is a spark of that divine. And as I choose to love myself and that spark, I am loving the divine. Today I choose to acclaim the person I see in the mirror as my soulmate. I choose to cherish that person. I choose to cherish myself. Because it's the right thing. And because it will attract someone else doing the same for themselves, it will. Like attracts like. Today I choose to love and accept myself as my soulmate, right here and right now. Well, there you have it. There's the key. And I wish you well, and uh, I wish you many blessings on using that key wisely. This is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog saying thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day.